welcome to Itsrafi. In this video, we'll learn how we can do Python practical. I'm using at present Windows 10 computer. So here we'll first search for Python. To do practice Python program in your laptop or computer, first you have to install the Python program that you can download from official website or you can use also Python's third party compiler which are like uh, Panda, Jupyter, Spider, Trony. This compiler also you can use to practice Python. At present I am using Python ideally. The version is 3.11. So here we will click double click on the option Python ideally. It will take little time to open. So you'll see this one opened here. By default, the ideally will open in script mode. And who are doing Python program, you'll know in Python we'll have two modes script mode, where we do the program line by line, and one is sorry, one is intermediate mode where we do the program line by line and another one is script mode where we do the program at once. So this is the uh, intermediate mode and for that uh, to go the script mode we will go here file then new file. But before that uh, let me increase the size for that we will go to the window option options configure ideally and here size is given as 10 we'll make it little more let it be 16 and text size or text style there are different styles are there if you do not like the default one you can change it i'm taking the default one only and after that apply so you have seen the text size is increased now we are going to take out the script mode for that we'll go file and new file the older version will have file new window option okay python 3.3 <coughs> or python 3.2 this version will have here new window option instead of new file so we'll click on new file this type of window will open here we are going to write the programs Suppose I am just printing a message to the user. So I will write print and in bracket we will write what I want to display like hello world. After that bracket close. So here by this uh, program I will just display these two words. After writing the program you next walk is to save the file so you will go file menu and here you will use save or save as options if you are saving for the file for the first time you can click on save and if you are saving for the file for the next time and you want to save it with a different name then you can click on save as so here i am coming save as options and by default your system32 folder will be selected I'll suggest you change the folder to document or desktop. I'm selecting document and here we'll write the file name. Let the file, nom file name be hello. After that we'll save the file. So saving part done. After saving the file we'll have to check the output. For that we'll go to run menu and we'll select the first option run module. Also we can click the shortcut button which is F5 so here you have seen the output hello world now we will see how we can take input in Python suppose this hello world we will have to take it from the user so how we will do it for that we will need a variable let the variable will be like ch after that we will write equal then input and in bracket we will write a message to the user like enter your name 
after that inverted comma close and bracket close then enter next line and here we'll display the name print c h c h is the name of the variable a variable is the temporary location in a computer memory now we'll ex have we already saved the file with hello name if we want to save with another name we'll go to save as and we'll change the name like hello <coughs> one and we'll save the file now again we'll have to run a program so we'll go run menu run module here asking me to enter the name let it be Rahul so here coming the name is Rahul so this way we can take text input in the program now suppose we have to take number input also means we have to take the age also so we will write again one more variable age equal now when we take number in python we will have to convert the number into integer for that we'll write first int after that bracket then we'll write input then we will write within inverted comma enter your age then inverted comma close bracket close and here we'll close bracket two times because i have started bracket two times here in int and input that's why closing also two times now for printing the age also we can write print in bracket we will write age now let's run the program as we have already saved the file always no need to give the file name so name be rahul and age 21 so here coming is rahul and 21 now what if we want to display a customized message like Rahul you are 21 years old then how we will do it for that we don't uh, no need to write print message two times we'll write just one time the name is stored in variable ch so we'll write ch comma within double inverted comma we will write your is is after that we will close the inverted comma one comma again age again comma inverted comma again one space years old after that inverted comma close and break it close now you'll notice here where i am using variable ch means in place of ch whatever name i provide that will come let it be rahul then it will be rahul your age is and in age whatever number I am providing that will appear years old <coughs> now let's execute the program enter your name let it be Rahul enter your age let it be 23 so it is coming as Rahul your age is 23 years old now what if I do some calculation with this variable suppose here I am writing a is plus 2 now let's run the program again run module name let it be Ria age 22 so Ria your age is 24 years old I have given 22 and to add it to here so it become 24 now if we take the age as character only means i am not writing the input part here i am not writing the integer part here i am writing just input like age input enter your age now we'll see when i will execute the program it will not able to do the calculation so execute ria and age 22 so it's coming as wrong print ch is plus two years old type error you can not con con you cannot concatenate string not an integer means uh, that 22 will be count treated here as integer sorry character and with character we cannot add a integer that's why we will not get the output now suppose I am writing a program to calculate the area of a rectangle for that we will require two variable l and b so we will write l equal 
int then input then again bracket enter land after that inverted comma close bracket two time close enter again b int input bracket again open enter break then inverted comma close bracket two time close so i have collected length and breadth from user so we will have one more variable area in area we will do calculation we'll just multiply length and breadth so l into b now we'll have to display the output for that we'll write print here we can write inverted comma area is after that again inverted comma then we'll give comma then we'll write area here you will see whatever i have written within inverted comma there in area i have given as capital but outside the inverted comma i have given the as small because where i did calculation calculate area there a is small so in print line also the variable have to be same to same if i give capital here it will display as error so run the program run module asking me to enter the land let it be 56 and breadth let it be 44 so the area is 2464 this way we can do some simple programs in python now let's check how we can use conditions suppose i have to take age of a user and i'll have to decide whether the person can give vote or not so to do this program first we'll have to collect the age so we'll write age equal we'll write input first we'll write required int because we are collecting a num uh, number from user again input then here we will write enter your age after the bracket two time close then we are going to write if statement if we will write age greater than equal 18 after the two colon these two dots then you will click on the enter button okay and when you click on the enter button you will see the cursor it's little bit move towards right this is called call as indention and which is very much necessary in python if you remove it then the program will think that you are not inside the if statement if you want to be inside the if statement if you want to be inside the condition so that indention is necessary and that indention you cannot give yourself it will given by the compiler itself so here i am writing a statement print you are allowed to vote break it close now again the cursor started from here now i want to go out from the if statement i want to display some other line if the condition is false for it we'll click on the backspace here we'll write else part again colon we'll go to the next line here again we'll write print and here we will we will write you are minor then break it close again to come out from the else part we'll go to next line and click on the backspace key here we can give a print statement program finish and break it close now to execute the program run and run module option here asking to enter the age let it be 2032 enter so you are allowed to vote then program finish now what if i aid, uh, enter the ages 16 17 years means which is less than 18 let it be 12 you are minor 
program finish so this way we can use conditions and when you are using if condition or for loops at the time you have to take care about this gap which is very much necessary in a python program and everyone might not have computer at home so if you do not have computer at home still you can practice python program you can download pydroid or some other apps are there you can download that apps and you can practice python program i have already shared some other videos how you can practice python program in mobile you can watch that videos thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye